Tell me. Right. Well, they're okay. lying. Oh, boy. Are you still with us out there after that Super Bowl? Mike, Max, Patrick Royce, Lavelle, E. Neal, and Sid Hartman. Patrick, uh, what does this mean when you see Pete Carroll, someone that you covered a long time ago? It means a lot. He was always nice to everybody that he uh, covered out there. He was a hell of an assistant. A lot of us wanted to see him get the Viking job, and uh, it's good to see Pete Carroll win a Super Bowl. Kind of fun to see that when you know a guy when he's yeah, here the first we time. we knew him when he was poor. Yeah. Um, what were you going to say? He made the playoffs with the Patriots, but there was a, some backstage stuff going on there with some woman that wanted uh, somebody else to get the job, and uh, that's why he got fired there, some deal like that. What's he care? He just won the Super Bowl. He don't care what happened in New England 20 years ago. What's he care? I'm just saying, he proved he can coach all the time. Should have been the Viking coach. He was the Viking well, coach. And thanks to Paul Tagliabue and Bill Walsh, it got changed. In the, in yeah, but you like Dennis Green. Denny made the playoffs eight times yeah. in ten years. They did okay with you, Denny. You like, you like Dennis when he was here. I told you, Dennis Green didn't have the job. And I was shocked. Vinny Serrano's secretary and Dennis Green's secretary were buddies. All of a sudden, Vinny calls me up about 10, 10 o'clock at night and says... I just, just talked to my secretary. She talked to uh, Dennis Green's secretary. He's flying to Minneapolis tomorrow to become the coach. And I made a complete ass out of myself. <laughs> I, really I didn't know if we were going to go there. One thing we can all agree on. Yeah, we do agree on that. At the press conference for Denny Green, you the did great moments in press conference. Yes, but Denny ended up going. We, they can't complain about Denny. No, and then Sid, to, Sidney were went close. To the, the, went to the playoffs eight lies. times. He knows offense. I talked to him that Why night. Why do we care? Sid, talk about Pete winning the Super Bowl. Who cares about 1991? What does it mean to see Pete win? <laughs> I tell you what, I saw what happened with the Vikings four Super Bowls when they lost. Nobody paid any attention to what they had done pre-Super Bowl. And that Denver team will get killed by everybody. Okay. Some guys will lose their jobs and everything well, else as a result. Nobody of will lose their job. No, nobody ever it. lost a job at Winter Park when they got lost four of them. Who lost his job at Winter Park? Name one person. Bud Grant. Would not fire well, anybody. Okay, but right. Grant's different. John Fox isn't going to fire no, anybody no, either. No, they just had they, the other team well, their day. had better athletes. Lavelle? I'm unfulfilled. I expect to see a great game between a great offense and a great defense and it being just one butt whipping. The game was unfulfilling. The commercials were <laughs> terrible. Yeah, they were. It's just been one long, boring night. And yeah. now Pete Carroll wins. Great for Pete. But... Let's not forget the man fled USC because he saw trouble coming. <laughs> and gave him himself his own life preserver. Give him more credit, man. He swam right up the. If you, the, if you the can coast. swim up and get an NFL <laughs> job when they're right on your heels. You're an expert on football now, too. That's right. Yes. Period. Uh, yeah. Period. <laughs> they, uh, it, it, the moral of the story is a good way to start a game is not by having your first direct <laughs> snap go in the end zone for a touch. For a touch I didn't back. know what I was seeing there. Yeah, I thought Peyton and Manning, sudden, this doesn't uh, happen to him. And it just went from there, but. Uh, I think we should pay tribute to the smartest individual to ever play football. Who's that? Percy Harvin. Oh. Percy Harvin made $10, $12 million this year. He got the silver, silver signing bonus. He looked at the schedule and he said, I'll play against the Vikings in week nine or 10 or 11. Shut it down. And then I'll shut her down and come <laughs> back for the Super Bowl and be a hero and the uh, smartest guy that ever played football. He might be smart. But I wouldn't trade Patterson for him, I'll tell you that. Well, I might not trade him for him, but he's got that big, shiny ring now. He, yeah. sure does. he is one of those rare athletes, as big a pain in the butt as he is. I wouldn't trade Patterson for him. I, I, I'm just saying that he's one of those rare athletes that can show up on game day and just go. You're right. Harvard. He'll be hurt next year. Sure. Like he's all hurt all the time. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to make it through the game today. I was convinced Percy Harvin was going to break down. When he returned that kick for it, I said, wow. Well, today he had the advantage of never getting touched. Yeah. I think he <laughs> ran out of bounds. Right. You got to get touched again. I think on both the 30 yarders, he ran out of bounds, and the other one, he ran for a touchdown. Well, I can't understand. You're losing 29 to nothing, and you're running the ball. Denver, you mean? Well, well Peyton they, Manning, tell me about you know Peyton Manning. They're trying not to give it back to him, I suppose. I guess, huh? You know? You know Peyton Manning from way back. Yes, sir. 
His father was a member of the Viking Briefly. in 83 and 84. And Archie Manning, even today, I send him stuff, clippings and all that stuff. I talk to him once in a while. The kid was seven years old. He'd come to practice on Saturday. I would babysit him. <laughs> if the ducks were flying, practice was very short. Would what grant. do you know about babysitting? If the ducks were flying, <laughs> it was really? longer. So what would you do with Peyton? Play catch or what? Pardon me? Did you yeah. play catch? Well, catch. I mean, you see the old heart Where do you think he got that motion? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think he got that delivery? I, you know, there is a similarity there. I realize but that. But, Lavelle, how come we spent all year, everybody saying how much better the NFC was, and then when we got to the Super Bowl, the betters made Denver a three-and-a-half-point favorite? Why did, well, how'd that happen? That was after a day, because Seattle was a favorite, a two-point favorite for one day, and it just switched all around. All the money was on Denver. Went, went, up to, went to Denver. Boy, someone crushed. How about Floyd Mayweather? $10.4 million bet on the Broncos. Oh, good. Yes. Is, this, is that true? Yes. He so, took, there's a so. picture of him sitting next to a bunch of money, and he says, here's Floyd Mayweather. Well, he always, he he always, brags, he always brags about when he hits his bets. Uh, yeah. This one, he's not so Yeah, I do, I do miss the days of dark coming through the door, and you knew which way he had bet. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I said early this morning, I, this is the day I missed the darky because he'd always come over and watch the Super Bowl with me, and we'd spot, sit around and talk smart. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah, he, that was fun times. Take a break, come back, stay with us. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24-7 Card Club. Don't forget the Card Club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. Soundpoint Audiology, life is worth hearing. And Cuisine Concepts, Franklin Street Bakery at 11th and Franklin in South Minneapolis, just down from Mall of America Field. And Taste of the NFL, proud to be the premier Super Bowl party with a purpose to support hunger relief locally and nationally. Quality. It's the result of shared values. The joy found in an honest day's work. Respect for true American craftsmanship and the need, not the want, to get things right. It's the result of remembering your roots. Being forever humbled by how far you've traveled and forever hungry to push on further. Quality is a result. Quality is who we are. Cambria. Family owned. American made. Have you ever considered a career in the media arts? I want to be a graphic designer. I want to create animations. I want to be a producer. I want to code websites. Minneapolis Media Institute offers a variety of programs. From digital art and design, game art and animation, to recording and music technology. I can be anything I want to be. I can be anything I want to be. Minneapolis Media Institute. Start your future now. Hi, at Dale Festi Automotive, we know you don't want to trust your car to just anybody. That's why we only hire ASC certified technicians to get the job right the first time. This commitment to excellence has led to being selected AAA Top Shop 12 years running. If you want your car fixed right the first time, bring it to Dale Festi Automotive in Hopkins. On the corner of 18th and Main Street and on the web at dalefestiautomotive.com. Mention that you saw this ad and get 15% off labor and installation. I've got more blowout jewelry deals. You won't believe the prices. See for yourself. One-of-a-kind prices for these one-of-a-kind pieces. Here's a $2,000 white gold pendant with a carat of diamonds for $200. Here's an antique white gold and diamond ring appraised at $600, just $40. Bucks. Be amazed at the sight of this 87 championship ring. Call the store for details. Get into your neighborhood Pawn America right now. Audi A4 drivers have spoken. And they rank the A4 highest in total quality index in its class. Experience the new Audi A4 at your local dealer today. Looking for a nice, big, juicy wreck of ribs? 
fabulous chops, huge steaks, and the Buddy Bowl? Then J.D. Hoyt's is the place for you. Hoyt's opened in 1983, and Mike Andrews and his partner John White have kept this Minnesota tradition at the top of the food chain. Managing owner Pat Montague gives us a tour. At J.D. Hoyt's, enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food, friendly service, private dining room, second to none happy hour just blocks from the new ballpark. Located at 394 in North Washington, locally owned, nationally known, Hoyt's. Boy, that looks a good way to spend your Super Bowl Sunday at J.D. Hoyt's any night of the week. Fridays and Saturdays get there early, stay late, because it is hopping at J.D. Hoyt's in downtown Minneapolis. Welcome back to the sports show. Where do, you, where do you see the Vikings having to go based on what you saw today? Well, you look at uh, Seattle. How can they come close to Seattle? They can't right now. Great on defense, great on offense. A uh, guy like Harvin... Uh, Join him if he stays healthy. Sidney make... Rice comes back next year. Yep. Rice comes back. Rice her all the time. Uh, they'll be pretty good. Everybody, like Patrick said, thought the AFC was better than the NFC. No, everybody and thought Denver the NFC was a favorite was in this game. Two and a half, three points. Not what Patrick and look said. what there was no contest. It was the other way. Patrick said the NFC. Patrick said the NFC, NFC was better was than the better. NFC, and he was wondering why. And I was Denver wondering why Denver favorite. was the favorite because we spent all year talking I, about I the NFC. I don't know that I've ever heard. Maybe I'm sure. It's, you know, I'm just caught up in the moment, but I've, I don't know that I ever remember one player, Peyton Manning, getting this much attention the whole Super Bowl week and overshadowing mm, everything. Because it's near the end of the line and yep. the whole thing. Him or Richard Sherman, but uh, boy, Seattle's good. The only Seattle said the problem Seattle has is they got all these young guys they're going to have to pay. You know, they got, uh, they're going to have to pay Wilson. They're going to have to pay Sherman. They got all these young guys they're going to have to pay and fit in under the cap. Only Not for a while. A couple of more years, and then they're going to the have to pay want. guys. Yep. Yep. And then you hope you're Boy, a good enough got, coach that you can I don't players. think I've seen athletes on a defense like that since the steel curtain. Though. And a lot of those players like fourth, fifth, sixth-round picks. Not like the first they round, second round. Well, Somebody's the doing something right in Seattle when it's coming to draft. I suppose your Bears at 85. Hit, hitting on the middle, mid, middle round picks. That's where you win and lose in the NFL, man, yeah. if you can get the middle rounds right. No doubt, no doubt. Man, the speed, the the physical physicality. Well, Patrick was just talking about getting a hold of the, the Kirschner yeah. from uh, Foldon, and they were at the Super Bowl week. He's director of personnel, and what are they doing, Patrick? Yep, they're having uh, draft meetings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five, six, seven hours a day. Really? Wow. Why they're at the Super Bowl. What were you going to say, Sid? Denver looks slow. Yep. Yeah. Running after their guys, huh? They look like no, no athletes at all. Eric Decker never really got in the game. Let me just say this. The richest guy in the National Football League owns that team. He'll See, find Adelie ways mean? to do things. Well, you can't. There's no ways to find. You can't get around the cap like you used to, so... Yeah. Yeah. Hey. The only thing that you hope is that you become a Belichick type, where they, you know, good players want to come to you for less if you're really good. Right. No doubt. I think that's a good point. Um, you're talking about the Broncos bouncing back, right? Sid. Everybody wants to come to the Twins because they're winners. <laughs> <laughs> that was like four or five years ago. Yeah. But you're right. Winning is a big key in bringing good, better players and finding a third, fourth, fifth round pick that can that, that that you hit on. What do you think about New York hosting the Super Bowl? Everything went pretty well. It looked like. Pardon me? It looked like everything went well for New York hosting the Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, Super Bowl, like I said, at Super Bowl, the, the coach, Denver, might be in trouble. What do you think? No. Are you crazy? No. They love him. John Fox, he did a great job. The New York. Had a heart scare during the season. I think will uh, get another one of Ten years? somewhere in the next uh, decade. Yeah, I think right it thing. went great, and the, the attention you get from having it in New York just amplifies oh, it's everything. it's amazing what that does. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they're talking about more northern teams now being able to participate. That actually hurts Minnesota, doesn't it? We'll get one. If they've decided yeah. that it's okay to play in Seattle one. some year, or they decided, you know what I'm saying? Well, I think the Vikings will get one uh, because they, ha they have a roof on their stadium. So um, it, you'll have more stadiums in the queue, definitely, to try to yeah. get a Super Bowl. So if the if the Vikings get one like in 2018, the next one may not be the well, 20, I'm saying 20, by 20, going well in New York, now Foxborough can make a case to bid against I, the Vikings. Go ahead. Yeah. The Vikings are going to have a hard time getting one. New Orleans is the favorite number one of the owners. Well, the show Indianapolis out. has all the politics going for them. I'd be shocked if they got one of those three. 
even though they're one, one of the one next the three. three. I mean, but they'll no. get one. They'll, they'll get one. They'll here definitely eventually. get one. Yeah. Eventually. They promised this one for the new stadium, basically. The weather, the weather was a big factor. I mean, it wasn't a factor today because it ended up being no, a non-factor. It was 52 degrees, like at five yeah. o'clock. You yeah, know, the problem was they said they had some problems with some of the mass transportation. Yeah, there was a like an hour backup to get inside the stadium. Apparently, once you arrived there. Period. Uh, Exclamation point. <laughs> there's one thing I remember: is all those sports writers who came here for that uh, Super Bowl. A lot of them brought their wives back here again because they fell in love with the city. Really? Yeah. So I, a lot of media attention, like Penn Patrick, the guys that you knew would come back later and vacation here? Mm, yeah, but the trouble with sports writers is they stay at the Super 8. They don't stay downtown or they use Marriott points. They don't put any, right. money, into the, they don't put any money into the uh, economy. We're cheap. Strip drugs, baby, but that's about all. I mean, we got walleyes up here. And everybody, you know, everybody's got uh, effective ways of filling out expense report. Not me. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you may get a couple big meals on there. Take a break. Come back. Sports show. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Allery's. The original St. Paul Sports Bar, now with 65 beers on tap. Attention, please get a pencil. Announcing a hearing breakthrough, a microchip that is so small it can fit on the head of a pen. Worn hidden entirely in your ear canal, making you hear clear as a bell. And it's proudly made in the USA. Do you feel left out of conversations? Is it difficult to hear words in noisy environments? Do others say that you listen to the TV or radio too loudly? Do you feel like a bother to others due to your problems hearing? If you answered yes, you may qualify for this new chip in the ear. Only 50 participants are needed to try this microchip, so get a pencil. Call now to see if you qualify. This revolutionary chip actually mimics the natural sound selection of the human ear. With multi-core microprocessors, technology used in the most advanced computers, sounds are analyzed and classified each millisecond, controlling noise and making speech clear. Do not wait. Call now to see if you qualify to wear this revolutionary new microchip. I have evidence that proves my dad's a space alien. He speaks a weird language. Drinks green stuff. He says he's from Albuquerque. I'm not buying it. I mean, just look at him. And one more thing, he has a spaceship. The evidence doesn't lie. My dad is an alien. The highly advanced Audi A6, named the car and driver's 10 best. Experience exceptional value on the Audi A6 at your local dealer today. Out in Minneapolis, stop on by, see Bruce Bonin, Charlie, and the whole gang, and you might have seen that Super Bowl ad that ran the night for Audi. You'll see it here soon. Uh, I was just over there the other day, and they've got it going on A3s through A8s and the Q7 for the SUVs. Wow, we got it all going at Audi Minneapolis. Twins, uh, Twins Fest, now we move into, we start to take a peek ahead. Number one problem in the Minnesota Twins, loyalty. Too Matt loyal. Guerrero. <laughs> Matt Guerrero's got the same chance to make the team as I do, yet they bring him in, which gives everyone a chance to take, who has mad at the Twins for the last three years, gives everyone a chance to take more cheap shots at oh, Terry Ryan. He thinks Matt Guerrero's going to help. No, he doesn't. They're bringing him in because they're loyal to him. He's a nice guy, but they're stupid. Why do you bring Matt Guerrero in? He's got zero chance to make the team. You know, Josh Ranke, he's not on the roster. I, I already have Michael Tonkin written in to replace yes, Ranke in the bullpen. And, that, and there's your bullpen. It's full. If Guerrero makes your team, everybody ridicules you. See, I don't I don't think he's going to make the team. Because I think, well, why do they bring him in? I, why? Because that's what they're doing this offseason. This is the season of, of this is kind of like flashback. They're going back they into the past. Because they can't get anybody better. Yeah, but they that's don't why. need him. They have guys better already. He's got no chance to <laughs> but, make the team. But they, and Johan why Santana bring him could in? be next. But they do it all the time. Yeah, because they're idiots. Does like, Bartlett make the Bartlett. team? Bartlett. I think Bartlett's got a rough ride to make the team. I think Kubel, you know, has got a better, way better chance than Bartlett. But Bartlett's got a, he has a play for yeah, a year they and a said half. It, they said he moved the TV further away from the couch this year, Bartlett. <laughs> I mean, Kubel, so when he's laying on the couch, it's, it takes him a little longer to get over there. So that's and, the conditioning? And, and, yeah, yeah, that's his conditioning. Hey, Bart, he's another a tiger. Are, are they going to sign an offensive guy on the cruise? I don't think so. No, I don't they're think not so. going to give up a number not, two. They're, 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 oh, my God, you know, number two pick. I'm so, yeah, I mean, that's such 30. a big loss. Yeah, big deal. Yeah, 
I can understand that number one, they're going to be tested him for roids, you know? Yeah. Their first round pick is protected. They would have to give up a second round pick. If the, if the player is worth it, I would go ahead and do it. What, 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 what do you remember of past number two picks for the Twins? Yeah, second round picks. I don't want him. Morneau? He it? doesn't do it for me. Tell me about the Timberwolves. About the time you think they might be doing a little something, they You're don't. right about that. They're not that good. That's a big trouble. I mean, uh, he, well, Rubio doesn't play good. the whole fourth quarter of that game. That tells the story you think there. Rubio's been going to be eligible for that big contract nope. when time comes nope. up? I think without a doubt they'll lose love because they didn't give him that contract. I think you're right. right love's, now. A, love's a free agent after next year. They're worried about Rubio, and Rubio is lucky if he gets a decent contract. I agree. Uh, yeah, it's pretty disgusting, and uh, you know what? When they're playing, they're fun. They're fun to watch. They're the most fun they they've been since 04. But, no question. But they're just not that, uh, you know, they got, they're just not that good. And I, I nobody's going to the games. God almighty. I couldn't believe Tennis that the other horrible. day. Weekday, I, they, you know, they raised prices this year to try to get back closer to what real NBA right. prices were. Maybe that's killing them. But their know, weeknight yeah. crowds are awful. Wednesday night was uh, 11,000 they announced, which means 8,000, right? Yeah. I yeah. was there the what? other night. They had a ton of empty seats. Yeah. yeah. What do you do with Kevin Love? Well, you can you can max him out. You can meet whatever it is somebody does. But who, well, you, know, you, can, you don't even have to trade him. You can uh, just wait till uh, if he if he tells you he's walking in 2015, you can do a sign and trade with him. You know. So. Well, that's what we're headed for right the now. Extra money. He's well, got, maybe he, he's looking at this situation going. You know, who do I have to play with here? Well, he no, and that's not what he's doing. The one thing at. that he's, Flip is doing is Flip is spending all his time with Kevin Love to try to make him he's feel gonna good. Opt out. He's going to opt out. He's not, you can't take the three year deal because it costs no. you money. So he's going to opt out and everybody's going to panic. But I think I'd wait and see what happens. What do you think his number one priority is? Love? Yeah. Getting uh, 28 points and uh, 14 rebounds a game. <laughs> and losing games? He don't care. You don't think? So he's ah, willing to stay he here there. Go to, what? What? He's on the All-Star team, he's on the Olympic team, and he's got a shorter season. He loves it. Yeah, shorter season, yeah. <laughs> the only thing is, if they can pay him the most money, a lot of clubs I would say, what's the sense of going after him? We don't want to pay him that kind of money. And they, they got a pay scale just like every other sport. And it might turn out if, to be money. If winning was his number one motive, he'd play defense. How? Do you, That's if that was his number one motive, how he'd play get, defense. How do they get better? What trade chips do they have? None. They can deal. And they, they don't have deal. a number one draft choice. And, and then their draft history. Even if they had one, their draft history says they're going to screw it up. Well, you know, but and the other thing. This is a cursed franchise. You're sitting here. It's like being the Milwaukee Bucks. You're yeah. not going to get somebody just to come here because it's a great place. Right. So you got to really be good well, and they, creative. And the only thing do. they have for next year after you have it pecked that money is the mid-level exception anyway. Yeah, so there you sit. Uh -huh. I'll find another guy who can shoot and can't play defense. <laughs> What's the name of the guard they traded in Milwaukee? Rednauer? Yeah. I thought he contributed a lot last year. Absolutely but, not. I just, but he's not I mean, a difference maker. He's just I guy. disagree. How many, well, how many times he make a mistake in the fourth quarter? Better what they got. Yeah, but I mean... That, that, to me, Ridnour doesn't get you where you yeah, need to so go. many point guards they felt. Yeah, but you need a, a dynamic, a really good. They yeah, but Shabazz looked really good in that the developmental league, dunking five times a game. If so you had Trey Burke, excited about that. If you had Trey Burke, you had a you had a trade chip for the future, or you just let Rubio go. It's bad. Best part the other night, uh, maybe you mentioned Mike Miller the other night. He makes a basket that beats him. It was a key basket. This guy's retired 18 times, <laughs> and, and he keeps on finding yeah. the club that'll find him. Had a nice talk with him. He's a good guy. Take a break. Stay with the Sports Show. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Case Law. For all your legal needs, not your typical law firm. And Griffin Bail Bonds. It's better to know us and not need us than to need us and not know us. If you guys could go on a free shopping spree anywhere, where would you go? I'd go to the grocery store. Pizza, ice cream. I'd go shop for clothes. You know where I go? I go to Ticket King. Ticket King! At Ticket King, you can buy great seats for the Vikings, Christian Ponder, The Wild, Zach Parisi, The Timberwolves, Rookie and Rubio. Rubio, and of course, the Twins. We Twins. Yep, this is where I go. Vikings, Twins, Wild, Timberwolves.
Girls go for his theater and concerts, too. Justin Bieber! Hey, I like him first. For details, go to TicketKingOnline.com. Any ticket, anytime, anywhere. It's the real thing. It's Ticket King. Right, Dad? Couldn't have said it any better myself. That's, That's for right. sure. Johnston. Once again, Taste of the NFL is the hottest ticketed Super Bowl. Join me, along with countless other NFL stars, as we take over Brooklyn on Saturday, February 1st, for the annual Party with a Purpose, where food, football, and fun come together to help kick hunger in America. For tickets or more information, visit tasteofthenfl.com. There it is. Boy, they had a great time in New York. Great show. A chance to talk to Wayne Kostrowski. They were all over it out there and benefited, as Patrick mentioned earlier, from being in New York and a heightened audience. Great job, Taste of the NFL, and the party that went with it. Here come the Wild now. Are they a playoff he, team or not? He's a Wild expert. Well, they uh, lost last night. Did they yeah. play today? No. No. Okay. Well, Parisi, that's uh, quite an honor being captain of yeah. the Olympic team. Mm -hmm. And Sutter's the alternate. Yep. Captain. But uh, they can't put a real streak together. I mean, the way things look, they won't make a playoff well, right now. No, they're seventh right now. That they've, you know, they've, what are they? Since since Koivu uh, and Parisi first left the lineup, they were 10, 5, and 1 or right. something. I mean, they've, they've done well. They stabilized themselves a little bit. And the good thing that happened is back. they, uh, you know, Harding got sick and everybody thought, uh oh. And uh, then the Kemper kid came along and uh, he's played well. Cooper! Dirk Cooper! No. Kemper's okay. I, I think the Wild is a little bit better than they were last year from a, more of a depth. I think they've, they've got more talent in a roster than a year ago. Some of the young guys have stepped up and made some nice yeah, plays. Granlin, yeah. Granlin was a stiff last year, and he's played well. Yep. So. Uh, Bob Mason yeah. must Fontaine's be done some things. Very good some goalie coach. Charlie Co Coyle. You know, I think uh, the goaltending is going to be an issue down the stre stretch because Kemper, well, that's just it. You want Kemper's going to be great at times, and he's going to be young six, at five times. Young have guys. you ever gone to a hockey game? Yes, I go every year. I go to at least two One games time. a year. I go to the, these two wild games a year, Mr. Uh, Hockey. You're, 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 period. Your time is really coming up now. Your favorite time of the year, the Winter Olympics. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Besides uh, hockey, which is your favorite event? Yeah. It's not my favorite event. I, they got plenty of worries over there, boy, I'll tell you. I, uh, the security, you mean? I hope they protect everybody. When was, last, when was the last time you've been to Excel for a hockey game? We're always worried about security in Athens, and uh, we were worried about Athens. We were worried about Seoul. The only place anybody's ever died is Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. right. So uh, don't, don't worry. Putin's going to keep the people inside Sochi safe. I don't know what's going to happen 500 miles away. That's if you were covering it, would you be worried? No. Uh, how many Olympics did you go to? Six. Six. What was the best one that you went to? Barcelona. Because? Best winner was just, it was great. A yeah. uh, dream team and... Uh, Which one? Track, and it was great. Uh, Barcelona and Lily Hammer was the best winner I went And there's like one dream team, right? Yeah, that's the only I, dream team. Exactly. The others yeah. don't count. So. Did you go to Vancouver? No, didn't go to Vancouver. Salt Lake's my last one in the winter, and well, that Herbie was good. Coaching, huh? one, one good thing about Salt Lake was if those Mormons told you the bus was going to be there at 717, <laughs> it was there, baby. <laughs> they are organized. And you didn't know. You when did, you're trying to keep the track of how many... that was Mitt Romney who was running it. Yeah, you, when you're, you're trying, to, know, when you're trying to keep track of how many wives you have, you're organized. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch the clock. That's right. That's right. We'll end on that note. <laughs> the Sports Show, back here next week. Thanks for watching. See you back here. Your same time, same place, everybody. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24-7 Card Club. Don't forget the Card Club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality quartz services. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. Soundpoint Audiology, life is worth hearing. And Cuisine Concepts, Franklin Street Bakery at 11th and Franklin in South Minneapolis, just down from Mall of America Field. And Taste of the NFL, proud to be the premier Super Bowl party with a purpose to support hunger relief locally and nationally.